very good morning to students today we are going to learn about the mind ventilation well my name is karuna kumar hod mining uh, the part of the mine environmental engineering subject uh, the basic uh, introduction part of the purpose of ventilation uh what are the types of ventilation what is the requirement of the ventilation system in the underground mines on completion of this period or uh, this lecture you would able to define the uh, term ventilation and purpose of the ventilation system around 49 to 50 slides are there one by one we go through the further study ventilation means a continuous and distribution of air into the mines so this is a very uh, just like our human body uh, present uh, you are more important in you know, oxygen the inhalation is very essential the way working in the underground mines also the person those who are working they need basic need ventilation not only for uh, uh, inhalation but also comfortable conditions also so uh, that air travel circulation to the, the underground mines different uh, from the mouth of the shaft to the that working place in between is a n number of uh, uh, sections are there distribution systems are there so the continuous the word is divided by using here continuous and also condition that means and distribution of air into the mains so here conditioning means the air conditioning the air can be uh, conditioned that means humidity in standardized level temperature in uh, standardized level so you have to that also maintenance so ventilation means a con conditioning and distribution of air into mines so these two word uh, itself you can understand the uh, the entire our mine ventilation chapter will be depending so these two words conditioning means the comfortable to the human and distribution the system how distribution is properly to the to reach the uh, end workman or face workman air shall be supplied in adequate quantities to maintain safe and healthy conditions in working place air shall be supplied in adequate quantities to maintain safe and health condition in working places it is prime function to dilute the dangerous accumulation of gas and dust and them into harmful levels it is control the quality quantity of the mine see uh, here one word you are using diluting the dangerous what is the mean by dangerous so underground coal mine have itself as a methane inherently to day to day working environment the different gases are producing they may be diluting the oxygen so they may sometime carbon monoxide nitrous fumes when co2 is producing so these some of the gases are harmful to the human nature human body not suit for the human so it may be possible to the diluting that pers that uh, uh, dangerous gases also so quantity and quality quality is already on humidity temperature and pressure these are quantity is concerned is different uh, how much meter cube of air is going on how much pressure is going on is quantity quality means the what is the temperature what are the noxious gases are not there what is the purity of that one these are the related to the uh, quality is concerned so overall so you have to send to the underground quality and quantity of air 
So actually, what is the fresh air? What is the what is a, which air is a called good air? Uh, that is also very important for at gallons. You see that. So what is the uh, the basic uh, air nature? Right here. Normal atmospheric air is a composed primarily of nitrogen. That is a 78.10 percent, and oxygen is 20.93 percent. Nitrogen is a quite inert and does not pose any direct threat to worker safety, aside from the possibility of oxygen displacement leading to the asphyxiasis. Presence of oxygen is a critical for human respiration. Where normal fresh air contains approximately 21% of oxygen. This is a very essential part. Wherever uh, the 21% of oxygen is essential for the, the, the human comfortability. This number can be changed significantly when the workers or equipment operated in the confined area. The amount of oxygen that a worker needs for respiration varies the changing levels of muscular exertion a minor working vigorously will consume more oxygen and produce more carbon dioxide than one who is at rest in most mining situations however the rate of oxygen consumption and carbon dioxide uh, production by the worker is negligible so I am giving the simple chart of the overall uh, volume versus oxygen 20.93, uh, CO2 0 0.03, nitrogen 78.10, argon 0 0.9. So total uh, the gender body of air of the mine. The percentage will reduce the presence of water vapor in the air, which can be reach maximum 4%. So consumption of the uh, normal air percentage are this is go through this as gallons. Then, air flow from a region of high pressure to region of low pressure. This is a very general principle of the uh, traveling of air nature. Where this is a, uh, the principle of uh, air flowing. You feel suffocation means the air is not come to this level. If you create a, a, a low pressure here, automatically air come to the high pressure too. Low pressure. So, difference present to cause current of air to the flow through the mine may be created. This is the basic uh, principle of air flowing through one place to other place. Why air is needed? Generally, air is needed to provide uh, cooling effect, to prevent sweating. To, for comfort to send bad odors. So, basic principles here comes out here. Number one, to provide a cooling effect. Yes. Uh, you see, uh, when you are uh, sitting in uh, some fan, do not feel any discomfort. Means, the water, the sweat come outside, it will be dissipated and also absorbed by the other source. 
so that you feel comfortable. If the dissipation is not there, that means your body released sweat, the outside temperature is more. So you do not feel like uh, comfortable conditions. You do not feel cooling next. Similarly, when you enter into the AC, AC room, something, you feel some very comfortable things. So cooling effect is there. Not only that one. Any odor gases or something like that. So for which a basic element is the air. So the air is a essential for the general needed for this purpose. So what are the various applications that force air? How to create air? Air cannot go through the a natural. Naturally means if you create a vacuum, the air high pressure to travel low pressure. But how artificially we create? There is a fan, air cooler, air conditioners. So fan, air cooler, air conditioners. So see, observe that. What are the applications of the force air? Fan is there, air floor is there, and air conditioners are there. So this is a simple uh, uh, for understanding purpose. Uh, uh, the basic nature of the uh, mind, underground mind. I'm giving in the shaft here. It is a shaft. It is a downcast shaft. That means the air will go inside this way. How air will going on naturally here? Means if you, in summer and winter the change of elevation the air is going and come out but it is uh, uh, influencing the uh, outer surface environment but 24 by 7 that means 360 days the temperature in the surface area not in cool in nature not in wet in nature not in uh, high temperature not in low in it's not, dep not depending us so oh, sometimes the air will go in this side sometimes going this side so there should be a mechanical ventilation is required. Of course, nature will be added to the mechanical, but uh, mechanical ventilation, there is a, a setup is there here, the exhaust fan. There is an exhaust fan. So exhaust extract the air from the underground naturally. The the uh, air drawn car shaft to air flowing also increasing. So that is a one aspect. Another aspect, the air is reached bottommost point of the shaft. This is a general uh, essential ventilation system. Of course, there is a number of ventilation systems are there different. A boundary ventilation, central system, uh, top to bottom system is there. Depending upon the method of working, also the system of uh, ventilation will be varied. But here I am showing that there will be uh, air is going uh, uh, inside bottommost point and distribution from here to here so that uh, uh, the air cannot be uh, taken any odor gases or temperature. Uh, that will be uh, better. But otherwise, if you are ventilating from top to low level, the, the after reaching the lowest uh, working place, the the quality of the air will be changed. For avoid that purpose, to reach bottommost point of the mine, and then also distribution to different working places through the exhaust, it come outside. So, the, the a simple uh, principle of the uh, ventilation system in, in this video.
similarly, I am showing another um, simple uh, task uh, network of ventilation. Uh, for the understanding purpose, the coming classes I more explain about this figure also. Here is simply a downcast and upcast uh, shafts are there, but there is given only upcast shaft. There is a two upcast shafts are there. This is upcast and this is a upcast shaft. This is a downcast shaft. So this is downcast shaft. The air is entering this end. This is a mining districts and a return where there is a another exhaust fan here and there is an exhaust fan it may be one or two this is also a, for understanding of the how ventilation network is going on in underground mine Then, when it is a process of providing sufficient quantity of air to the mine workings. So, here uh, the challenge is how much quantity and pressure will be generated here, that is down costing chopped, and how to distribution in the sufficient quantity, that is the main agenda. So, quantity of air in mine working, that is the basic prime, priming uh, activity of the uh, ventilation networking. This possible the mine air is nearly the same as in the surface without toxic and inflammable gases. A worker in a mine should be able to work comfortably. The condition should be in such a as will not be impair his working efficiency. That is also very important. The falling should be uh, listed in the limiteds uh, within the limit because of uh, that is a uh, actual conditioning. And to, that means the comfortable to the uh, mine worker comfortable to the mine work so what are the comfortability how you have measured there is a, a two factors are very important one is the humidity that's the one is humidity and another is the temperature these two are very influencing the uh, human body because the high humidity you cannot work the high humidity uh, low temperature is also not work the high temperature or low high humidity also not possible so these factors to limit it to the as a mind with the various uh, surveying uh, there's a quality surveying equipment you uh, identify the how much humidity is going inside temperature and also another hand the dust content of the air is also in mine also within the limit most of the, the should not be raised in uh, air prone dust so that is also one of the criteria as a uh, ventilation is concerned but basically, these two are the influencing factor, humidity and temperature for the human comfortability. Uh, the purpose of the ventilation to restore the proper uh, composition of the air, mine air, should not be contain less than the 19% of oxygen, not more than 0.5% of carbon dioxide, that is CO2, to dilute other noxious and inflammable gases.
The falling should be within the uh, already uh, maintained. That is the humidity and dust. Then, so these are the general uh, for maintaining purpose for uh, for achieving above criteria. That is the comfortable conditions to the mind. There is a, a number of systems are there. Uh, the systems are depending upon the depending upon uh, ventilation system, depending on the relative positions of intake and the return airways. Ventilation system in the mind can be broadly divided into the uh, following. There is a boundary system, centralized and combined. Boundary or unidirectional is a one. Central or bidirectional and another. So boundary or unidirectional is one case. Central or bidirectional is another. So these two are very essential uh, point of view uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, ventilation system. Uh, broadly divided uh, boundary system depending upon the long wall miners, board and pillar or in stoke mining also. Uh, which method is uh, suitable depending upon our condition. Uh, your way air can be circulated uh, boundary wise or central to the other boundaries and reach the outsides. Boundary ventilation system. Uh, boundary ventilation system where the air flow unidirectional from the intake to the uh, efficient system uh, necess necessitating the least use of uh, in a high volumetric efficiency of uh, ventilation. It is a commonly adopted in a metal mines uh, working a steep load in the simplest form of the intake and return shaft are located at the strike boundaries of the mine. So this is the actually boundary system. Uh, uh, we can be send the, uh, the air in a different uh, fashion to the underground to get a high efficiency because of input how much and output we'll get in. So this boundary ventilation system, most of the metal mines are using this type of thing. So remain, uh, that is a centralized and uh, semi boundary system in really, uh, coming the going classes uh, the example i give in boundary event system here to provide good environmental conditions uh, to excess your uh, rise of temperature or to prevent the humidity uh, the above network systems are very useful that is a boundary and semi boundary and central system the percentage of methane should be less than 1.25. So these are the conditions you have to maintain while ventilation network is going on. The percentage of methane, the methane should be in written uh, 1.2, not uh, less than, should be less than the 1.25. Workmen work with the maximum efficiency. The wet work temperature is a developed phases should not exceed 33.5 degrees. So you have to temperature also maintain for rising temperature, humidity rising. The, the person unable to comfortable. The recent is so many mine accidents happening due to temperature only. Most of them not understanding uh, the accident is happening so in societies. And of course, uh, the, bio, uh, uh, by, uh, the paining of uh, other activity accelerate the, the human uh, discomfortable also. So if the person in the fresh air is a different uh, the person is in an accident in a undiscomfortable condition is a, uh, this leads to more impact. So to remove the coal rock dust produced in the mine, this is a general uh, phenomena. So these are the very important. The percentage of methane should be less than uh, 1.25. The work uh, the workman can work with uh, maximum efficiency. The wet bulb temperature in developed phases should not be exceeded 33.5 to remove the coal rock dust producing in the mine. So, what are the type of fans 
do you know the purpose of the fan so major, majorly uh, in our home uh, generally you are observe uh, wherever ceiling fan you are using and also table fan you are using uh, or in a kitchen room you exhaust fans are using so for cooling purpose coolers are you using and also ac these are the a general phenomena in our daily life of the human living in surface only can you imagine so what purpose we are using this purpose for comfortable conditions when the hot heating the fan is required when you are sitting in the chair you require the ceiling fan when you go to kitchen to exhausting system is required or exhausting uh, kitchen vapors or something is required when you go to the some office work ac is required we do working more work so such a way that the work environment in underground also so required so see the uh, one simple uh, recirculation of system in mind for, uh, for understanding purpose how return and intake airway if we intake air with the fresh air return air with a already used air see this uh, in the figure uh, for getting the evo conditions that means uh, comfortable to the, uh, the from the surface to uh, underground uh, taken away air for example you see here in this figure uh, yes take it this one uh, from here you are going to down so from here to the reach to the the different working place if it may be parallel or um, from here to here or some heading is there Here, here the dead end is there. The work is progressing, and these are working is progressing. So the the air taken from this place to here, so we need some other uh, uh, mechanism, a mechanical system is required. That is called a booster fans. So this is boost up the uh, air from the one place to other place. So sometimes recirculation is working place is there. So the air is recirculating here. Some cross cut is here. the inline reflection system this is a cross cut recirculation system uh, this type of arrangements you have to maintain in underground uh, so distribution mechanism is concerned air has uh, be sent to the underground working to dilute gases to remove dust heat and humidity if the depth of the workings are less than the mine is a ventilated by natural means If the depth of the workings are more than the mine is ventilated by the mechanical means so these are the conditions 
uh, if the depth of the working or the less than the mine is a, a, a ventilated by the natural means the depth of the workings are more than the mine is ventilated by the mechanical means so the ventilation system used in mines are two types based on the above criteria by two criteria there is a it's general we say that natural ventilation mechanical ventilation so what is the nature what is the mechanical natural means uh, in house you hold generally if you uh, more where we expect it you open the doors simply air will be a flow depending upon the wind direction depending upon the uh, pressure differences the air will flow one place to other place most of the in houses south to uh, north here regularly moving in uh, indian conditions so but here nature ventilation means you simply left the uh, uh, mine shaft mouths so depending upon the uh, surface temperature nature the air will be can be moved one place to one shaft to other shaft so this is a mechanical ventilation uh, provision for the exhaust system see this this is the uh, one two three uh, avasis are there exhaust uh, fan avasis this is a fan house this is a fan house so uh, the, that's it. i think the most of the all are exhausting fans to maintaining the uh, pressure gauge also inside So that is the same figure uh, showing the simple by square. Most of the coal mines, this type of model can be observed. Uh, over the air shaft, it will be located. It is called the Avash C. So, so this will continuously uh, uh, exhaust fans. This is a way for using for the mechanical ventilation system. So this is a, uh, the part of the mechanical ventilation system. This is a, showed as a, a air duct uh, in underground mines. The air uh, can be uh, taken out from the fresh air when they enter into the headings, particularly uh, where the headings are made for, the, for, for, for example, long wall headings, uh, gate road may, uh, maintenance uh, preparation purpose. Uh, for uh, headings that are getting the good ventilation so such but such forced uh, taken from the intake to uh, alleviate the face nearer to the face this is a one type of duck uh, flexible duck and a few rigid ducts are available depending on the usage in the mine these are all the parts of the different mechanical uh, parts mechanical uh, ventilation network so uh, coming to natural ventilation uh, atmosphere has to be sent to the mine to the ventilate the workings below ground this is possible the depth of the workings is less again we require the certain ventilation devices to distribution the air in the underground so natural ventilation give the just air from the 
surface to underground but uh, the, there is a distribution is required and further uh, uh, development is required uh, because you not to depend only for nature ventilation the air has to be sent to the mine to ventilate the working below ground by means of mechanical ventilator by using the fan this is possible to the depth of the working is more uh, again uh, we require certain ventilation devices to distribute the air in the underground also so coming to the uh, basic uh, ventilation system natural or uh, mechanical there is a need the mode of entries depending on the shaft is required what is a shaft and what is a meant by dc shaft and what is a uc shaft most of the uh, when you will go to the mine uc dc these words are using so what is the mean by dc and what is a uc so here can be simply explained by uc and dc dc is a down cast shaft uc is a up cast shaft so air come enter into this head and working main working and leave this here right here so no model so this is a natural rotation is happening you see that uh, uh, yeah the topography of the a uh, surface not uniform in nature for example this is a one hilly uh, pro nature uh, topography level of the surface is very different and this is the uh, other level the shaft is driven here similarly in a, a heading that means a edge is made here so this is a one entry this is another entry in winter the air flow direction in the summer is different and air flow direction in winter is different the drift uh, air is going this side and come to the in this side in case of winter due to the temperature is low in outside if temperature is high in outside automatically the air is going inside this side and going the lower side so uh, you see that whenever the elevated high shaft or the temperature high automatically air will be suck inside if a temperature is low that means air is weighted so automatically the air is going down to up so this is the basic principles of the uh, natural ventilation system
then so this is a very clearly given in the during summer is what happened what is the during winter is what happened so this you can observe uh, most of the summer they are really going to this side going and winter is the reverse same figure is showing here also Coming to the another uh, explanation uh, for cold outside, what is uh, happening? When a cold is obtained, low level will be going down, and a high level will be coming. But in hot season, this is going this way. So, this is a fundamental phenomenon of the natural rate system. Then so so overall the background of the ventilation I think hope you are all are getting uh, once again uh, the main objective of underground ventilation system is to provide the flow of sufficient quantity and quality to dilute the contamination to safe amount uh, concentration where uh, personals are required to travel and work to supply of oxygen man and missions to dilute the toxic gases exposed in dust originated in the production of operations to assist a temperature control humidity this is a basic need of uh, any uh, ventilation basic activities uh, to require is uh, integrated into the mining mining laws to those uh, nations who are processing the the type of legislation the degree of quality and quantity varies with the regulations set up uh, from the nation to the nation depending on a number of uh, parameters mining history uh, contamination of the greatest uh, concern the apparent dangerous associated with uh, those hazards and uh, political and social structure of the nation the general requirement is um, for any personnel to work and travel in the environment that is safe and comfortable so downcast shaft already you see the figure above figures the shaft which is supply the fresh air intake air into the underground mine working a natural or mechanical this is called downcast shaft what does it mean by upcast shaft the shaft enough which uh, pollution mine air that means return air you can't say pollution to the soft the return air goes from the mine working to this 
letter M is a, a lighter in weight. That is a very important. This is a lighter in weight. Uh, the density of the pressure of the air in a uh, upcast shaft is low to the uh, presence of fire damp, water vapor, fumes. Presence of fire damp, water vapor, and fumes. So, classification of ventilation system. Uh, system of ventilation, uh, nature of ventilation, and mechanical ventilation. So both are classified already. We have uh, uh, gone through above slides also. Uh, conditions uh, suitable for nature ventilation the inlet and outlet of the mine must be at a different uh, surface levels unequal depths uh, there must be difference of temperature the difference in density between the two air columns so unequal depth of the shaft uh, geothermal gradient this is also one important factor so difference of the uh, surface topography it is called geothermal uh, gradient of the uh, strata uh, that is the main uh, uh, influencing factor of the nature ventilation system and the temperature uh, another one temperature is also very important moisture content adding in the dc shafts uh, barometric pressures addition of gases leakage of air these are the uh, important other parameters so so now uh, if this uh, um, concluding the uh, this is the chapter so once uh, revealing the uh, the point uh, the natural basic uh, the system of integration in the point of view uh, there is a two that is a mechanical and natural so natural uh, means shaft through shaft due uh, to the surface geothermal gradient cause but it is fully uh, we are not depending on that one because of it will be changing the uh, risk seasonal. So that's why it will go through the mechanical ventilation. In addition, natural ventilation added to the mechanical uh, pressures. Uh, similarly, uh, downcast and upcast shafts means uh, which air is going, uh, pressure is going down, it's got downcast, which air is going outside, it's called upcast shaft, the entire the mine working. Will be. So where the mine working can be a mine working uh, distribution system uh, to meet the our conditions that means uh, uh, the, the sufficient uh, in the comfortable uh, the humidity and temperature should be maintained in uh, adequate and also uh, the mine area the distribution of the air in a, uh, properly by applying the scientific methodology if the quantity is less the pressure is uh, uh, more required for uh, going long distance. In case of uh, some places, they require quantity more required uh, instead of pressure. So such a condition are maintained by other auxiliary uh, applications such as booster fan installations and uh, other uh, apply by using applications to fulfilling the entire and also set out the uh, the foil gases are included in the irritated air to the upcast shafts. So this entire network. Uh, the ventilation uh, network system is a key uh, pattern of the for comfortably and uh, uh, the workman satisfactionally working in the underground and uh, with the good results we can expect. Uh, I hope you are enjoyed today's class. Uh, go through the uh, uh, standard uh, textbooks of G.B. Misra or Jati uh, Deshmukh. Uh, uh, which is the uh, fundamentals of uh, the nomenclatures of the nature of ventilation and uh, uh, mechanical ventilation system. In further class also, I will going to explain the various type of uh, uh, distribution systems. So with this, I conclude that one. I give some quiz in complete exam. Most of the um, quiz is a uh, general uh, complete exam for C set and uh, singer and colleagues or any Western coal field or coal India. I go through uh, for understanding purpose. I giving two three. Uh, quiz questions here. Uh, the purpose of ventilation is to remove the following: one is the humidity, temperature, dust in content. So fourth is the all the above. So the purpose of basic ventilation system is to remove the um, standardized uh, the temperature and these things. The next question: the ventilation produced in mines uh, without of uh, the user of mechanical devices called the uh, 
not uh, we said this portion is produced mainly without the using of the mechanism this is called the uh, one two three there's an uh, other question is not there naturally uh, the answer is b so general another the shaft enough uh, which fresh air goes down the mine is called uh, that is called dc shaft the shaft enough uh, which fresh air goes down the mine is called dc shaft it is called dc shaft so right uh, one more so that's another way nitro ventilation may be caused by temperature barometric pressure leakages so what is the concern is most of the uh, causes of the nitro ventilation causes a lot uh, temperature is by cause it may be barometric and also leakages the wet bulb temperature in a developed uh, interface should not be exceeded 33.5 degree centigrade. D is the answer. So, so this type of uh, quiz questions also you prepare for the for the meet the competitive examination is concerned. So frequent last good question is uh, define the term ventilation, state the purpose of ventilation. These type of questions you are getting the uh, frequently board examinations point of view also. So write the small assignment on there. Write about the purpose of ventilation. Uh, this is this is just today onwards. I mean, uh, with this I enjoy. I think hope that you are enjoyed the today class. Thank you.